Every day we see stories categorizing the Wagner mercenary group as simply cannon fodder, but isn't this the same organization that was instrumental in numerous battles throughout Libya, Syria, and Africa? Well, in a way, both descriptions are true. Wagner is a much bigger organization than most people realize it is, and really should be divided up into four categories. The first being its financial arm. And these are the guys who help Russia launder everything from diamonds to helicopters, and through their control of mine sites and factories, their estimated net worth is probably in the hundreds of millions. Then there's the protection wing that provides elite bodyguards and escorts, particularly to African dictators and warlords who may not trust their own populations enough to guard them. Then there's the elite soldiers, and these are often retired Russian Special Forces veterans. The numbers of this group aren't huge, but they do provide impressive targeted strikes when we see them on the battlefield. And the fourth is the cannon fodder. This is the group largely made up of prisoners, annex, and long-term unemployed. And even though it's only one arm of Wagner's capabilities, it seems to be the arm the media always seems to focus on. 